had infuriated the other Mafia families. He was breaking the Mafia vow of Amerta, meaning silence. They decided he was a liability and had to be removed. Joe Colombo was a pariah in the Mafia world once he became public like he did. He was getting crazy with power and was told to stop and it didn't stop, so. If there was no Joe Colombo, there was no league. So there was no threat. And within a year, the league was finished. Period. Case closed. Colombo fell into a coma from which he never recovered. He died seven years later. His shooting meant the end of the fledgling Italian-American Civil Rights League and sparked a bitter mafia war. There was a real war going on in New York City between the families and they were shooting it out on the streets of New York. Crazy Joe Gallo was assassinated uh, in Little Italy. Crazy Joe Gallo, the architect of Colombo's assassination, was slaughtered at Umberto's clam house, Little Italy. Just another mob hit that was occurring right at the time when interest in the mob and the Godfather was at its peak. The covers of Time magazine were, <laughs> is art imitating life. You know, they had us with guns and, I mean, it became reality. After two years of intimidation, protest, media condemnation, and a mafia hit, the Godfather was finally released. The Godfather exploded across America. It broke box office records, rejuvenated Hollywood, and was hailed as a seminal gangster epic. It was an amazing happy time when the movie came out. We used to drive around and watch the, the queues of the people to, because it was such a thrill to us to see so many people going. This was truly a sensation, the first major picture of the 1970s to really hit at the box office. It's the first movie to ever be Gone with the Wind. You know, Gone with the Wind was the box office champ till The Godfather opened. While Paramount celebrated at a lavish premiere, the mafiosi were furious. Hollywood had snubbed them and they demanded to know why they hadn't been invited. Where are our tickets to the premiere? Well, the last thing in the world we wanted was those people at our premiere. Joe's son, Anthony, called Al Ruddy demanding an explanation. He said, well, don't you think that's unfair? I said, what do you mean? He said, Al, when Hollywood does a movie about the army, the generals are the guests of honor. They didn't move about the Navy, the admirals are sitting up front. You think we'd be the goddamn guests of honor on this thing, except us, we can't see the movie. They were really getting ugly about the whole thing. So we decided to give them their very own premiere. When it was over, the projectionist called me. He said, I've been a projectionist for 25 years. Nobody ever gave me a thousand dollar tip. That's how much they love the movie, literally. When the movie came out, the FBI immediately began to notice in its surveillance of real mob figures that the movie was having an influence on the way the real mob act. They started kissing hands, kissing rings, calling each other Godfather, treating themselves in a more genteel way. The Godfather, a film initially opposed by the Mafia, was now adopted by the Mafia. It was the ultimate irony. When we come in with the guns out and the whole routine, they got the tape of The Godfather in the television VCR, watching it. They loved it. The score of the Mafia movie, The Godfathers, became the mob's national anthem. If they knew who you were, like in my case, a law enforcement official, they were playing on purpose to piss you off, right? But it didn't piss us off. It made us laugh even more at them because we knew how ridiculous they were. The Mafia believed that The Godfather legitimized them. It was a legacy Coppola had never intended. Francis was very offended by the fact that the Mafia people took it as a tribute to them. He intended to show a side of culture that he was not terribly proud of, but to show them in, in, in their reality. But he didn't intend to glorify them. They had hijacked the movie just as they had hijacked the production. For the mob, the Godfather was now one of their own. 